Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this week's Bible study. And uh, we're going to be looking at Hebrews 10 this week. Um, so Hebrews 10 talks a lot about offering and sacrifices and what God really desires. And um, it talks about how he desires um, a body and then that body ends up being the body of Christ who becomes the sacrifice for our sins and, and he is the offering that atones us uh, for our sins and for our wrong, wrongdoing. And the thing that I really want to want to dive into is that there's this idea that because God loves us, um, we, we kind of get a free ride and, and we can get away with anything. The Bible is chock full of, of uh, scripture that that negates that and that disproves that. Um, that is not the case at all for us. And I think that we understand that. But what a better grasp of it and a better understanding of it is, is that we have to understand how we are both offended and offensive, if that makes sense, um, before we can really take what is offered. Um, it's the idea that you need to know that you are uh, that you're lost before you can be found, or that, that you're in trouble and you need to be rescued. Uh, we have to acknowledge that we're broken. We have to acknowledge that we're sinful. We, we have to acknowledge that we're wrong in the eyes of God. And um, we, we wanna kind of fight against that, especially culturally in a world where we wanna know that we're good and we wanna know that we're right and that everything that we do, um, even the mistakes, they just shape who we are and we learn from them and we grow past them and they're a part of who we are. And um, we want people to love us for who we are. And you know, like that's, that's kind of what we, what we champion and what we, um, what we want to, to raise our banner to. And that's not really the way that we're supposed to be. Um, yes, we can come to God as we are, because what is expected is perfection, and none of us can achieve that. So we come to God, and we're broken, and we're sinful, and we're wrong, and we have that pointed out to us. So we accept the offering of Jesus. So that's what I mean by being offended first. Um, really, we were offensive first. We, we offended God with our disobedience. We, we offended God with our sin and with our brokenness. We offend God because the standard is perfection and we can't achieve that. But as image bearers of God and as humans, uh, we all know our nature and our nature tends to be selfish. And our nature tends to be all about us and elevating self and self-glorification and, and all of these different things. And uh, God just kind of looks at us and says, no, you've got it wrong. You're not all it's cracked up to be. You're not all you think you are. Um, you're not as great as you think you are. And again, there are plenty of verses that come to mind. Philippians, for instance, um, we're supposed to have humility and not think of ourselves as better than we are, but to, um, to consider the uh, interests of others as greater than our own and uh, consider others as being better than ourselves. That's the attitude that we're supposed to have, but our human nature and our sin nature says that we are better, that we're good enough just the way that we are. And so we've come so far away from understanding that we've been the offensive ones to the point where we think we're okay and God has to remind us, and in doing so, he then offends us with his law and with his standard of perfection. But his his offense to us, his purpose in offending us, is so that he can offer us perfection. It's so that he can offer us grace, offer forgiveness, and best of all, offer us his love. That's the whole point in him pointing out that we're sinful and that we're broken and that we need him so that he can then give himself to us. In Hebrews, it goes on to say, if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment. 
God's offering to us ought to change us. It ought to lead us to obedience. And before that, in, in verses 23 and 24, it says, we need to hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering because what he promised and the one who promised it is faithful. So we need to consider how we can stir up one another to love and to do good works. That's what our responsibility is when we've received the offering. Instead of being so easily offended, we need to recognize the offering. And so many times we get that backwards. So I don't know, I guess my challenge today is, I mean, for people that have missed that, that maybe haven't quite understood that, receive the offering that God is giving you in His Son, Jesus. Receive it and then act in obedience to him afterwards. The act of receiving it gives you salvation. Obedience is then our response of gratitude. Um, I guess beyond that, recognize when people point things out about you and instead of thinking so much of ourselves, let's take a moment to evaluate ourselves and to consider what is it that maybe we need to change because if we really have received the offering of Jesus into our lives, then we need to not think so much of ourselves to be so offended, but rather, how can we be more obedient? Uh, that's what I got for today. Thanks for listening as always, and I'll see you next week.